Hey guys, welcome back to 5 Minutes with a Technician. My name is Daniel. So today I want to show you how to set the table thickness on your K600. Okay, so what we're going to do first, I have the blade off the machine. So let's go over, let's measure this blade with a tape measure. Okay, I've just got a regular tape measure. Let's go ahead and give it a measure here. So just do all the way across. So I'm at 17 and 15 sixteenths. Uh, to be super accurate, you do want to burn an inch and just verify. So 17 and 15 sixteenths, okay? So for me, I have the memory like a goldfish. So I'm going to write it down. So 17 and 15 sixteenths. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and slap this blade on the machine. So let's take it. Okay, so we've got the blade on the machine. Let's go ahead and come over to our screen. Let me grab my phone here. Okay, so first off, we've got the diameter set at like five inches. That's fine. Let's go ahead and set our slab thickness to zero. Let's go into F9. Let's go ahead and set our table thickness also to zero. Okay, let's go exit out. Let's drop the head down until it just touches so I'm going to use my remote. If you don't have the remote, you can do it at the controls too. But we want to just bring that down into a clean spot on the table and just touch it. So let's come in here. Let's find a clean spot. Okay, I got a couple right here. Uh, and just for information, we just milled this table. And now we're going to capture the new table height. All right, be careful because... With a five inch diameter, you could absolutely dig this blade into the table. So go slow. All right, there we go. So now we're just touching that table. So let's go over to our screen here. So on the screen, we're gonna click F1. Okay, and now we're gonna click F2. So this is how you touch the blade off the table to measure the diameter. So we're gonna click F2 going to give us some crazy diameter. So 26.1. Okay. So we're going to take our actual diameter that we measured. So 15 16 plus 17. So that's, that's our actual diameter. It's almost 18 inches. So now we're going to subtract this value. So we're going to go subtract 26.150. Okay. That gives us like eight and a quarter almost. Let's go ahead and we're going to divide that by two. Okay, so that's our actual table thickness. So 4.10. Really, you could add the six thousandths if you want. That's fine. Uh, accuracy isn't necessarily a bad thing. So the more accurate you are, the better off you'll be. So we're going to click F9. And now we're going to go to wood thickness. And click on it. Let's set it to 1.106. That's what we came up with. And with the table too, I always change these. If you have two of them, set them to the same thickness. Uh, if you have a twin bed, you want to make sure that both your tables are the same thickness. Single table, just, you know, you could probably get away with just table one. For me, I just put them in as both. But, uh, okay, so now let's exit out. Now let's touch this blade off again. So F1 and then F2. So this should be accurate. And there we go. So 17 and 15 16 right on the money. We know our table thickness is good to go. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.